Thanks for the quick introduction. Uh, my name is Sumit. I'm a senior Salesforce consultant with Webflow Software Private Limited. And we are here to demonstrate the integration tool in between MailChimp and the Salesforce. So uh, when it comes to the integration in between the world's most popular email marketing platform, which is MailChimp, and the world's most popular CRM, which is Salesforce, it's one of the most popular applications that is still connect. And uh, it's listed officially over the marketplace. Uh, next slide, please. So this application has an average rating of five stars. And uh, when it comes to the integration, it works on the real time onset process. As soon as the data gets inserted or updated, it's meant to synchronize the data on real time basis. As per the market research, uh, we came across multiple scenarios wherein the businesses uh, rely heavily on email campaigns in order to uh, reach out to their potential customers. They use MailChimp in order to uh, manage their email campaigns and Salesforce in order to track the customers and the leads they have. However, keeping the two systems in sync was a difficult job. So uh, they often have to manually update MailChimp with the customers and the lease information from Salesforce, which was time consuming and error prone. That's how Change uh, Connect came into existence. Next slide, please. Okay, so that's the logo for application. Yeah, next slide. Okay, so it's part of the default functionality for connector. It can sync nice five different objects bidirectionally in between the two platforms. Okay. So when I say five different objects, I meant to say that relevant objects is within the main chain. The objects are audience, campaigns, subscribers, segments, packs, and the groups. And it works on the real time observed process. As soon as the data gets created or updated in within the main chain, or let's say as a single person, it's going to be synchronized on the real time basis, real time basis back and forth. Okay, uh, next slide. So it's not just the bi-directional functionality that comes out of the box. We have uh, implemented multiple other functionalities as for the global business scenario. For instance, uh, the user can create custom fields for the configuration section of the connector and it can create the relevant custom fields back to the main platform and they can map those fields accordingly to the configuration section. That's one of the additional functionalities of the connector. Apart from that, next slide. Okay, so we can integrate multiple MailChimp accounts with one Salesforce instance simultaneously. Uh, next slide. Okay, so it's not uh, so it's not just the nominal sync what happens. We can use conditional sync where we can define certain parameters in order to export or import the data into the two platforms. Okay, so we'll try creating a contact and within the Salesforce instance, let's see if that gets sent on a real time basis back to the region for now. Okay, so we try updating the contact information within the Salesforce. We just need to update the required fields. So as soon as we create and update the relevant data, let's move on to the page. As soon as the data gets created in the same store, it will be sent back on the real time basis back to the main chain. There we go. So that's how it's meant to function. It's for the default functionality for connector. So that's all about the functionality. It is for the analytics and the uh, analytics capabilities of the connector. Uh, one can track the uh, performance of the email campaign using the reports and the dashboards in between the Salesforce. And uh, last but not the least, uh, with the use of Chimkan, one can save time, reduce errors, and improve the effectiveness uh, of the email marketing campaign in between the Salesforce. Thank you.